It's called the Electrifier, southeast of Jackson. It's grown to more than 3,000 acres. Zero containment on this thing. One first responder has been injured. No structures have been lost at this time, but 450, we're told, are being threatened as the fire rips through areas around the McCallany River. Crews are working to gain control of it and keep people and pets out of harm's way. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf shows us where evacuees can take them. A pack of Pyrenees and their goats. This herd headed to the Amador County Fairgrounds after mandatory evacuation orders were issued due to the Electra fire. What we tell folks is to have a game plan, um, especially for their pets. So crates, food, um, water, um, blankets if need be. Evan Jacobs works with Amador County Animal Control, which oversees shelter operations there in conjunction with the Amador County Animal Response Team. He says if you have to leave with pets or livestock, have these things ready. ID, microchip information, um, vaccine information always helps, um, but we, there's an intake process that we will do um, and we can get all that pertinent information. By midday, there were around 50 animals housed at the fairgrounds, including two horses and a whole building full of cats, dogs, and other small animals. But they have room for hundreds if need be. So it's basically traveling from Electra Road, uh, the river goes east, and it just, it's, that's what it's exactly it's doing. It's just following that camera. The sheriff monitoring the situation along with fire crews fighting challenging conditions. It's down a very windy, narrow, steep road, and there's quite a bit of vegetation in that area that's making it real hard to, to access. It's very steep drainage. The fairgrounds, a staging area for fire crews and for those looking for shelter for their furry friends. It helps those owners make sure that they know their animals are cared for while they can handle um, everything else that is going on with the incident. Yeah, peace of mind. You got to help our furry friends. Let's talk evacuations because the Amador County Sheriff's Office expanded the evacuation order and warning zones for the Electra fire. Pine Acres and Clinton are now within the evacuation zone, and parts of Pine Grove are under a warning. The evacuation zones uh, end just east of Jackson. A new shelter is open up in San Andreas for evacuees. It's located at the Mountain Oaks School, 150 Oak Street. San Andreas Town Hall shelter is now closed.